crazy fog. <sighs> Hopefully, uh, we get into some good bass. Got all our setups ready. Taking the kayaks out with the wife. Should be good. It is a foggy ass morning. And I can smell the bass already. We're out to Rondo Bay and hopefully we smash some fish. See you out there. Where have all the pictures gone? This place was home before you left. All my hopes, all my dreams. Tried to move on, but I just couldn't feel my feet. Let her fly into the sky. The tears remain. We got a trade rod. Errol just poked his head out over there. Riding the waves. Yeah. Okay, tie me to you and tow me. I'm tired now. <sighs> so much rowing. Those stupid boats got over there in two freaking seconds. Yeah. Already fished the spot out, probably. It's definitely the first, like, half deep spot that we've seen. And the next thing we gotta get for our kayaks that are cheap is uh, like a paddle body. Oh, I have three fish following it in right now. They're just chilling under my boat right now. They're too small to take it though. Um, but at least there's some fish here maybe. It's a good sign. Um, what was I just saying? Oh yeah, it's basically just like a little thing that like attaches your paddle to your shirt or whatever in case you... Oh, I had one, but I'm just so not... I got him, so... I'm so not used to this rod. That was amateur. I'm just really not used to this rod at all. Nice. Yeah. I'm surprised I got that guy because I really, like, I that was the worst hook set. I'm really not used to using my right hand yet. Like, it's not so bad for punch fishing, but I'm really not good at hook setting with my right hand yet. Like, I'm just not good at it. First uh, Rondo Bay fish. Love it. It's turning you into a five pounder. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to fish this until we stop getting fish. Yeah. Might as well. There's nobody else here. I still do want to work my way over there, though. Got another one. I just dropped it straight down at the side of the boat. Yeah, big, thick, meaty fish in here, though. They're strong. 
for their size. It's a little better. Nice. Let's keep upgrading. Yeah, I was just checking the depth. I put it down right next to me to check the depth out. Oh, come on, come back for it, come back for it. Had one. Do you want to try the spinner bait for a little bit? Yeah. So let me show you what I mean here with this. All right, I'm not sure if I was recording for, I think I was recording for the hookup, but I'm not 100% uh, sure if I was. Well. But uh, if not, at least you're gonna get some pictures and, yep. and get to hold this nice big basket and my drink here. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of hold my paddle and get close to me. First bass Laura's caught on her kayak. I know. Not yeah, you really heavy. pinned this guy good. This is a nice fish. This is like, that's gotta be a three pounder. That's bigger than any of those fish that I was catching the other day. <laughs> We're gonna weigh them too. Is the scale yep, I can get it. Okay. Yeah, I can grab it while you're doing that, maybe. Yeah, it's in the back pocket. Oh, that's fun. It's fun yeah. Today, right? yeah. Okay, you are unhooked from your bass. Hey. I'm gonna keep in the water here yep. until you. As hard as you can grab him in, the, in, in there. As hard as you can grab him. I he, and if he flops, don't let it go. Just hold him hard. Right. Okay, I can barely see him. You gotta put him towards me. <laughs> it's hard to maneuver. It's a nice fish. It is a pretty good bass. That's, I mean, I I'm, I'm gonna take anything. this off so I can make sure it's recording good. Yeah. I feel like I've barely caught anything this summer. Yeah, point them so, out towards me. This is definitely my best fish so far. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I don't think we'll have to weigh them, but that's probably about three pounds. Yeah. Nice fish. Look at that. Awesome. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, yeah, get them. Get them going. Nice, Laura. All right. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, the one zipper's open now. Anything like well, at least we know that'll catch fish for you. Yeah. I don't like that it's so shallow now. Yeah. Throw one more cast out this way. Oh yeah. Oh, I got a big pike. I'm gonna need your help. This is my biggest pike of my life. He's in the weeds. Holy shit, Laura. Laura, I'm gonna need you to grab his tail. Or, I don't know what to do. Okay, 
I know. It's a pike. Oh my god, cute. I just need to tire him right out. I will play this from the star. Wrote our names out on the tree. Can you grab him by the gills? Grab like underneath his plate right here. Grab him underneath this. You need to, Laura, you need to do it. He's gonna jump otherwise. Laura, you need to get on him now. You just put your paddle down, grab him right now, by, by the face. Thank, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Holy shit, this is the biggest fish of my life. Oh my god, that was... This is the biggest pike of my life. Pretty exhilarating. Holy shit. <laughs> to everyone thinking I'm over-exaggerating. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had to... No, 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 I... Uh... Holy shit. This is the biggest pike of my life. I have to get yeah. good pictures. We gotta make sure he gets released healthy, so let's do yep. this as quick as possible. Yep. All right, look at that pike. Holy shit. Wow. Um, I know you guys just watched that fight, but I'm gonna explain some of it. That was just insanity. Um, I'd say biggest pike of my life, if not probably close to uh, close to it. I've only caught maybe one bigger. That was just a hell of a fight. He jumped twice like crazy. Holy man, did he jump. That was nuts. And uh, he just swallowed that chatterbait. What an, an unreal fish. <sighs> wow. Like when it was in the water, I'm thinking, that a must <laughs> So big. Like, I know it's not. Like, his teeth are so sharp. Shit out of me. I don't have the pliers for sure. I don't. I, I saw them in the bag the other day. I took them out of the bag today. Oh, no. I wasn't expecting to catch a big giant pike. Yeah. I'm like shaking. I'm so shaking too. This is the biggest <laughs> pike of my life. Oh man, he's gonna tear my fingers to pieces. I think I have to keep them because of how long I've kept them out of the water now. I want to make sure you, I got lots of pictures and stuff. So. Looks like we're eating pike. And it wasn't bad though. Like I enjoyed the pike when I ate it, didn't you? Yeah. He's just, he's, he's hooked through his gill plate. And I can't get it out because of this. Well guys, if you see all that blood, that's why you don't stick your thumb in a pike's mouth. And just about everything that went on with the handling of that fish, I regret. Um, he kicked off strong. Um, I probably revived him for only like a, a couple, like 30 seconds and he just, he kicked right off. But um, I, I regret a, a bunch of that. I kept him out of the water a little longer than I would have liked because I was just so excited. I know that's not an, an excuse, but I was a bit excited. So I kept him out of the water a little longer than I wanted. And then I, I figured I was going to keep him and eat him because of that. And then he was struggling a lot. So I figured he had some, some go left in him. I put him in the water and he was thrashing like right away. So I know that fish kicked off. It's good and healthy. I just hate handling a fish improperly. And I really did there. Um, What do you think, Laura? Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love this spot. Yeah. We'll be back for sure. Awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's calm. I mean, the weather's perfect today. It's warm, but not too hot. 
fishing obviously is on fire. Mm -hmm. So, what more could you want? Yeah. I don't know if I'd say it's on fire, but there's some well, big, big, good fish in here for sure. Honestly, the last 45 minutes we haven't caught anything because we've just been reminiscing about the big one that you did just catch. Yeah. <laughs> so. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you have a bluegill on. Really. On a spinner bait, you got a bluegill? I found a hookup. You're right. Wow, I just had a three pound bass swim by me. I don't know. Is it the top hook? <laughs> Maybe I did get him right in the top hook. How did you catch a, a bluegill on that spinnerbait? I don't know, but I'm scared to get him off because it's like... He must have just been swimming next to it or something, being like, oh, I want to... Like, thinking he can school up with it. Yeah. You... Yeah, Laura, I just got, had a freaking three-pounder swim right next to me. Yeah, come on over here. Yeah, that, like, literally right next to the... Oh, there it is. Yeah, when you said that, that I... <laughs> It just swam by again. It's just f***ing with me. Oh. Oh, he's good. He's good. He'll. Yep. Oh! I got one. Another pike. Oh, it's a big bass. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, guys. Nice three pounder. I'm gonna get him in the water here and uh, give my breath. If he gets away, gets away. I just wanna weigh this guy, see what he weighs. Two point four, not bad. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get a picture. Get him. That's a release right there. <laughs> yeah, he's a lively one. Definitely got rough, guys. Uh, I mean, it can turn so quick. It's still beautiful out. The wind's maybe picked up just a slight bit. And I really wouldn't expect it to uh, be this much worse considering earlier it was just beautiful out. It was so nice. So we're getting, uh, getting in to cover before it gets any worse than this. You know, the pelican is a great vessel, if, uh, especially for pond fishing and stuff like that. But if you're on a lake, you got to be really careful and make sure you pick those days that are as calm as can be because you just never know. And this pelican really isn't that quick. So 
it's not going to get you out of danger quickly at all. So uh, you just got to plan your days accordingly. Know what you're on. Don't overestimate what you can do on your boat. <laughs>